This is the Washington Times front page for Tuesday, November 14th, 2023. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. The House of Representatives narrowly defeated an effort to impeach Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Stephen Dynan reports eight Republicans joined 201 Democrats to defeat the effort. Lawmakers also voted 209 to 201 to refer an article of impeachment to the Homeland Security Committee rather than take it up immediately. Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene forced the vote over the objection of some colleagues who saw the move as premature. Crime and carjackings have become so widespread in Washington that even President Biden's granddaughter and her security detail were caught up in the danger. Matt Delaney and Jeff Mordock report a Secret Service agent on duty outside of Naomi Biden's home shot at as many as three people suspected of breaking into an unoccupied, unmarked Secret Service SUV Sunday night. No one was injured in the incident, and the Secret Service said it is investigating with the Metropolitan Police Department. Authorities said the 29-year-old Biden was made aware of what happened. The Supreme Court has issued a formal code of conduct after months of criticism, accusing some of its conservative members of unprofessional relationships with billionaires. Alex Sawyer reports the nine justices said they follow certain requirements for recusal, such as not sitting on a case in which a relative or spouse is involved. They said they have always followed the rules similar to other federal courts, but they are putting this code on the record to avoid criticism. Justices will recuse themselves if they have a financial interest in the outcome of a case, or if they had any involvement in the litigation before joining the bench. The code also says they should avoid political activity and follow regulations on gifts and financial disclosure. President Biden will face Chinese President Xi Jinping this week in a meeting fraught with political risks. Susan Fericia reports the president and Xi will engage in intense diplomacy and attempt to reestablish military communications, according to the White House. The Biden administration has quietly set low expectations for the meeting as bilateral tensions with China rise, but the field of 2024 Republican presidential candidates are saying the meeting needs to produce tangible results. And finally, China is investing more than $1.4 billion in a new institute run by former scientists at the Los Alamos Nuclear Weapons Laboratory. Bill Gertz reports the effort is part of an ambitious program to hire top U.S. scientists and obtain advanced American technology. Documents and open source research specialists say the program has hired some of the U.S.'s most experienced scientists. Find all of today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app. And find us wherever you get your podcasts. Just search Washington Times in any major podcast app. You can also find us on social media at Watch Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo.